Come with me to a land far away. Aquarius, thank you so much for coming to the extended. So, yeah, they want you to know that that whisper, that's them. It's not goodbye. It's see you later. They want you to try something new, something exciting. You never know if you don't try. They feel that they definitely should have listened to you, but they were stubborn. Um, you were right. They knew it deep down the whole time, but they refused to acknowledge the fact that you were right. They also want you to know that in this hard time, you are important and you need to take better care of yourself. Maybe you're not taking very good care of yourself. Maybe you're not showering like you should. Or maybe you just can't find the strength to get out of bed and stop crying. And just maybe do something for you. And they want you to know that they see that. And they want you to take good care of yourself. Better care of yourself. I don't know if you've ever watched the movie P.S. I Love You. But after her fiancé dies, um, her parents... I think I haven't seen it except like once or twice but her family comes over and she smells like her whole house smells because she just hasn't taken a shower you know he was gone she didn't leave the house she didn't have a reason to take a shower okay she didn't care what she smelled like or what she looked like to anybody else because well the person that she cared what she looked like to was gone he was dead and he was gone. And so, you know, and they're like, oh my God, what's that smell? And she's like, it's me, okay? <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know if that has anything to do with this. But, um, yeah, so your person wants you to take better care of yourself. And I'm not saying you don't shower. I'm just saying if you haven't showered since this person passed on, well, you know what? We all cope differently. We all cope differently, but this person wants you to know that they're still with you. They're whispering in your ear. They want you to communicate with them. Um, remember to talk to them. They can hear you. They also want you to try something new. Maybe they want you to, with this self-care stuff, maybe they want you to go out and doll up. Get your nails done. Get your hair done. You know, go have a good time. Get, get a fresh perspective. Do something you've never done. Have a great time. I feel like for some of you, you guys should watch P.S. I Love You. I know it's a super sad movie, but there's a message in there for you. You will know it when you see it. Okay? That's for some of you. Okay, Aquarius? Let's get some more cards for you. Okay, Aquarius. So you have gratitude. Life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what is in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. So I'm getting that this person, they are so, so grateful to you for all the hard work you put into them, for all of the things that you did, as much as you tried. They are so grateful for everything that you did for them. Even if it didn't work. They know that they were stubborn. They know they should have listened to you. And they're so thankful that you tried. But things happened this way because they're meant to. But they want to thank you for all of the hard work you did. This person may have made poor financial decisions. Maybe they were unemployed. Maybe they went back and forth between jobs. Maybe they just didn't have a job. And I feel like this person, maybe they didn't help out with bills like they should. Or maybe they caused you to spend too much money. They caused you financial hardship. Um... And they feel like they were not generous enough to you. They feel like you deserved so much more than they gave to you. They are so thankful for everything you did to them. And they wish that they took better care of you. They wish that they were more generous. They wish that they had, I'm getting, they wish they spoiled you. The way that maybe you spoiled them. 
they wish that you they gave you the world because I feel like they promised you the world but they didn't give it to you because you have karma I'm sorry lady justice which is justice in the reverse and I feel like there was injustice. Like they told you they're going to give you the world. They told you they were going to do all these things for you. But they didn't. And they are sorry about that. They are so sorry. They wish that they should have spoiled you more. I'm hearing spoiled. I should have spoiled her more. Or him. I should have spoiled them. I should have bought them all these things. I should have went out and got a better job. Um... That way I could have given them all of the things that I promised them and I never did um, hold up to my end of the bargain. Or maybe it isn't about um, material things for somebody. It is. But for somebody, it could also be that they didn't give you the things you deserve, such as the love, the compassion, the respect that you deserved. They lacked on that and they are so very sorry, but they are grateful for you, for everything that you did. If they could change it, they would. They would treat you better. They would spoil you. They would give you love and affection and they would just shower you with beautiful gifts and love and attention and show you how very important you really are to them because I feel like some of them did not express this to you the way that they wish that they had. They do want you to know that peace is just ahead. You are going to become stable. This is the calm after the storm. They want you to know it's okay for you to be happy. For some of you, I'm getting that. They want you to be happy. They want you to take better care of yourself. Maybe you just took care of them. Yeah, see, you got me and my ego. Pride or fear in the way, not connecting. I'm sorry, not contacting you, but thinking of you often, replaying over in my mind. So for some of them, they replay it over in their mind. They know that their ego got in the way. They know that they should have done better by you. And for some, maybe the self-care stuff is they want you to pamper yourself the way that they wish they would have pampered you. They wish they would have listened to you. But their ego was in the way. And they are sorry for that. And you have unguard. Competing for someone. At an impasse. Guarded. Needs space. Takes time. Skilled. Interaction. Okay, for somebody out there, for one of you Aquas, I did get in the beginning of the reading. I don't know why this song popped in my head. I'm actually not that attracted to this song for personal reasons from my first ex-husband. Anyways, but this is the song that popped in my head when I started reading for you. Honey, why are you calling me so late? It's kind of hard to talk right now. Honey, why are you crying? Is everything okay? I gotta whisper because I can't be too loud. My girl's in the next room. Sometimes I wish she was you. That song. Um, Lips of an Angel. That's what that song is. It's called Lips of an Angel. For somebody out there, possibly you had an affair with this person. No judgment here. But they did not leave their person for you. They promised you, I'm going to leave them. I love you. Things are going to get better. And they never did these things. They never left this person. And they're sorry about that. They told you things were going to be so great. That's for somebody out there. Maybe for another person, you know, they had an affair and they're sorry about it. They should have never done that. They feel badly. They replay it over and over in their head. 
because you have competing for someone plus that song. So somebody. I'm not saying everybody. Don't be like, oh my God, Sabrina, this person was cheating on me and I didn't even know it until you just said no. No, no, no. Okay, for, this is for some. Some were having an affair. Some, maybe it wasn't even an affair. Maybe it was that this person just did not commit the way that they should have. And they wish that they had. Okay, somebody, if you know there was cheating going on, then yes. Take what resonates. Throw away what doesn't. Okay, always, 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 always. All right, let's see what else. Wicked, mischievous, mischievous. Uh, naughty, harmful, dangerous, false portrayal, lie, cheat, beware. So definitely some cheating going on with somebody. There was somebody that did cheat. There was somebody that did lie. There was somebody. Your person is so sorry that they lied. Your person is so sorry that they cheated for those people that did. Or if they were cheating with you, having an affair, and they just never left this person, they're sorry. They are. They're sorry that they told you things were going to be different than what they were. They wish they could go back. They wish they could change it. But they are so grateful to you for your beautiful time with them in this life. Okay? So that's just for some. Okay, so you have, I create my reality based on what I choose to believe. I never give up on my dreams. Believe. They want you to believe in yourself. They want you to chase your own dreams. Maybe this person comes to you in your dreams and gives you messages. Okay. And let's see. What blessings are coming for my beautiful Aqua Aquarius? A blessing to bring clarity. Let's read it. Okay. Let's read it. A blessing to bring clarity. Hello, beautiful souls. Thank you so much for checking out my YouTube channel today. I hope you like what you see. If not, I'm sorry, but leave me a comment down below and tell me what is something that you would like me to do a reading about. Um, also, if you could consider joining my YouTube family, you know, just hit the subscribe and the like button and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I make a video. That way you do not miss out on any awesome content. Plus, I have awesome giveaways for my subscribers. and. To be entered, all you have to do is be my subscriber. So, yeah, there's that. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for sticking by me through this journey. And know that I am grateful for each and every one of you. And I love when you like, you comment, you share. It's amazing. I really am truly blessed by all of you. And I love you. You guys are awesome. A blessing to bring clarity. A blessing to disperse the muddied waters of the mind and the heart, allowing the purity of what can be seen clearly to guide you. We move through our lives often knowing not quite what to do, without guidelines or any real compass about where we are going. There are mysteries that are good and fine to experience with others, which seem merely to be obtuse, and confusing. With this blessing, you will begin to now know the difference. We have collections of ideas given to us by parents or friends or schools or governments, and we see the world through their filters. This blessing brings to you a clarity from within for you to know the true north of your own soul and to follow the soul's purpose even when the path before you is unclear, dark, overgrown. 
this is not to find yourself, but to know your own soul deep within. And with this blessing comes a surgery and a sense of lucidity. For when you are clear on who you are and what you care for and what you believe in, you will then be clear on what to do and where to go and how to behave. May the clarity you seek now come to you as you remember to return to the clarity that lies deep within you. May there be a shedding of ideas and beliefs that do not belong to you, for you are far more than a collection of beliefs held by others and taught to you. More than your conditioning, you are cl a clear soul that has a transparency of your own self. So you know what it is you seek in this world because you understand who you are deep within and from that place you live. In this way, the clarity comes. The mists lift. The veils part. The path is lit up. And you shine that inner light out, making bright the path ahead. You are more than a series of plans and expectations. You are a soul finding your way to the knowledge of your own self. And when you begin to find out who you are within, the clarity you seek will come again and again to cut through the tangled thoughts, to clear the path of debris, to move aside those who do not wish for you the best. To discover for yourself what is best and right for you to do in this moment. And thus with clarity, dear friend, thou will be blessed again and again. Blessed be. So this person's gratitude, they want you to know that they are bringing you in some clarity. in order for you to understand things, in order for you to believe. Tell me more about what's coming in for my beautiful aquas. Staying in, you have night. Night in your space, a moment alone, a partner is busy, free time or mental vacation. So what's coming for you is clarity and a beautiful way to free your mind, maybe a new way to meditate. Um, a beautiful vacation is coming for you. And it's coming from this person because they want to show you they love you. They like you without physically saying it. Didn't say it yet the unsaid it's coming in from them they never told you they love you the way that they should have but they did they did love you they still love you even if they never did say it there's going to be visits in your dreams you're going to hear them say, I love you. And you're going to find clarity in this, in everything that's gone on. That is your blessings. And it is coming from this person. I hope you enjoyed this. And above all, I hope that it resonated with some people out there. And that it gave you a peace of mind. Maybe it helped you in your healing journey. And just above all... I hope it brought you some sort of peace that you didn't seem to have before. Okay, so if you like this reading, please like this reading and definitely join my YouTube family and I can make more readings like this. If there's a specific thing you want to see, leave me a comment. I love when you guys comment. All right, guys, I'm sending you love, light, and healing. Blessed be. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to join my YouTube family.